Over the last few years, Scott Cunningham and his guide dog Travis have become well known to Rangers fans for their efforts raising money for charity. Having gathered more than £125,000 between them, Travis is now due to go into retirement and he's here in Fort William with Scott for one final trek up Ben Nevis. I'm here as well with about 180 other people, so let's go and join them. Scott, that's us. We're about an hour and a half into the, the trek. It's uh, it's pretty hard going so far, actually, isn't it? But at, at the same time, it's been a great day so far. The conditions are, are holding up. It's not the sunniest of days, but certainly uh, it, it's good walking weather. Oh, we've got oh, unbelievable walking conditions, mate. You really couldn't ask for anything better. You know, the temperature's good. A wee bit of, a wee bit of drizzle, not just to cool us down. And uh, it's, it's brilliant. You couldn't ask for a better start. You know, it's a bit mentally taxing there because, you know, well, he's doing great with the, you know, with the guidance. Good Travis here doing his best when he can. But uh, it's brilliant, absolutely fine. You can ask for a better start. How are you finding the climb? We're about an hour and a half in just now, and so far it's not been too bad. No, no, I'd say it's. Uh to me, it reminds me a lot of parts of the West Island Way, parts of doing it like this, the, the, the Pennine Way, which we've been on. But it's uh, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, tell us a bit about the purpose of, of climbing up Ben Nevis today. You've done so well, you've raised over £125,000. Um, this really is Travis's final trek, I suppose. Yes, yeah, he's uh, approaching retiring age now, uh, in the next couple of months now, mate. <laughs> and uh, we, we thought well, we're going to have a big farewell, you know, to his, his fundraising endeavours, and uh, we're better to finish in the top of, the top of Great Britain today, you know, up, up, up Ben Nevis. That's what it's all about, and it's only the two, two amazing charities that, that means quite a lot to me. Guide Dogs, obviously, uh, two brilliant guide dogs I've had, and uh, in support of the Royal Marines Charitable Trust Fund, as they've given us so much brilliant support over the years on the trek. Luckily enough, uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was an honour to be a, a big privilege to have uh, been handed an uh, MBE for my endeavour. So it's, it's humbling, you know what I mean? And the support we've had throughout the world has uh, been fantastic. And this is what it's all about, you know, a big, big... We've got, a, I don't know, 80, 90, maybe 100 people here today, I'm not sure. We'll have a wee head count later on. Yeah. And that's, that's touching as well. People from all over Britain came to, to celebrate us, you know. There's a lot of Rangers fans here as well. Yeah. It's great that that really shows what the club is all about at times as well. That, that people can come together on totally non-football occasions yeah. like this. But yeah. but it is Rangers that have brought a lot of people together here today. Best best supporters in the world, without a doubt. You know, if it, again, with donations come in online uh, through the website uh, from Rangers fans throughout the world again, and it's it's humble. It just shows you we are not just the greatest team, great supporters. We're about an hour and a half in to the climb. Scott has just gone up ahead of me. He's a very fit man, it has to be said. Um, we're doing well. It's uh, getting a bit windy, you can probably hear. We're almost halfway up to the summit. The clouds are closing in just above us, so the views might not be so good at the top, but things are going well, and, and Scott is certainly earning this money that he's raising. Mark, obviously you're involved with the, the Legends Trek website, you, you've been heavily involved in the organisation of today. Um, we've got about a thousand feet to go, uh, first of all, how's it going? It's a pretty tough climb. Yeah, it's definitely very, very hard, you know, um, coming up the shingles right here is pretty hard on the old back and knees and that, but uh, obviously you see, you see Scott in front of you, um, and obviously you can't see the route, you know, so it keeps you going, it's, it's a real inspiration. Yeah, tell us a bit about Scott. Obviously, you've known him for a, a long time now, and you've seen him in action over the years. What he's done really has been quite incredible. Yeah, he's he's, uh, he's an absolute inspiration to us all. You know, he's he's, uh, he's he's got all these people together, and you know, like he does nearly, nearly every year since it started. Um, and so it's absolutely superb what he's done. Here. Terry, you've been up to the summit already. It's uh, pretty windy, it's pretty cold. Um, I'm sure you're chuffed to bits with yourself, but to see Scott going past you just now, you must be so yeah. pleased for him. Yeah, yeah, pleased for him, mate. I mean, he's, he's, got, uh, he's a gritty fella anyway, and he get up there no matter what, but that was the hardest thing I've ever, ever had to do. Yeah, fair. you've been a big supporter of Scott, obviously, over the years. You've done the West Island Way with him as well, but this is really tough going. It's tough, mate. I mean, um, you know, it's, you get parts of it that's rocky, it's parts of it that's snowy, you know, it's wet, but you get there and uh, you, you do it, you know what I mean? It's all going on good course. Yeah, I mean, what does it feel to you to have contributed to what Scott's doing? Because he's, he's done so well over the years, he's getting an MBE later in the year, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is fantastic, and, and I'm sure yeah. you'll feel he's thoroughly oh, deserved. Yeah, well, we're all pleased with Scott. I mean, the room, he's done some fantastic things. 
we'll, uh, we'll be up there Buckingham Palace cheering him on. And uh, um, yeah, please God, a couple more little things come by. <laughs> Scott, we're up at the top, it's been a pretty hard going climb, but you got here, it's uh, very cold, very cloudy, you must have been chuffed a bit so that you got to the summit. I'm absolutely delighted mate, it was, it was a massive, a massive uh, push here at the end, took cramp like I've never had cramp before, uh, you're a fellow player's not getting cramp, but I've never had cramp like that before in my life, I'm absolutely <laughs> delighted. Travis has made it, uh, there's knee injuries to, to travel, man, knee injuries are not really tempted, and uh, the camaraderie here is brilliant, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's been so, a fantastic climb, uh, Mother Nature's throwing a bit of snow just to make it a bit more difficult for you as well, just uh, about 10-15 minutes before the end to <laughs> I had a wee snow field not to, to uh, come across, uh, so we're waiting on the snow boys in the, in the, in the way back to them, no doubt we'll get up. but uh, I did, uh, added, added to the, 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 the full thing here, mate, absolutely fantastic, you know, and uh, the, the, you know, the effort that everybody's put in, you know, people that's never walked a hell of a four in their life and they've came and done this because of, of this, this event, I'm absolutely over it, man. You know, nothing's too, too hard for him. I mean, he's, that was hard work up there. And he's come down, he's got a nice point in his hand. I mean, I'm so proud of him. Very, very, very physically and mentally demanding. But Scott, I mean, is un unbelievable. I mean, I followed him down, down the hill. He was up there before me. That says how, how, how uh, functional he was. And it was just, just brilliant to see. The way down there, I met mentally draining like I've never had before. I've done a lot of things in my life, um, you know, not a lot of long distance walks, um, a lot of hills, my nose and all that stuff. But coming down there, it was just uh, Billy, uh, Billy Rogers, call up service at the Royal Marines. Yeah. It was absolutely fantastic. He made sure that it was not a foot out of place, and obviously the, 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 the mental, mental uh, stress was too easy to get through with the, the communication. But to make sure, you know, there wasn't a foot out of place. Absolutely brilliant. You know, it's, it's just, Everybody's in a great day, that, you know, aches and pains, but they, they've got a great sense of achievement. People that snow normally, done the holes or done these kind of things, but, you know, the feedback's been great, so that means an awful lot to me, you know, I've got yeah. to go and enjoy a wee bit of the, the, the beautiful countryside, great for other people here. Um, that, that means a lot to me. Traps in top form, a uh, wee bit tired like the rest is, yeah. but uh, no, it feels fantastic.